God has given us seven days to complete our mission, the purpose for why we are placed here on earth. Every day the sun comes up and then it sets again. Our lives are cyclical, sometimes cycles within cycles. How many my days and how many Mondays are in your week? Today I want to challenge you with a new concept called my days. And you will find that in chapter 24 of my book, God, Money and You, which I released last week. You know, when we sit down and think about it, there are only two kinds of days, Mondays and my days. Here's my definition of a Monday. A Monday is that day of the week you spend making money or managing it or always busy with money, investing and so on to meet your responsibilities and obligations. There are many Mondays in a seven day week, whatever the traditional day of the week might be called. My days is something else. It's a new concept. It's that day of the week that belongs to you, where you can do what you want to do, what makes you happy, fulfilling your dreams, even fulfilling your Christ-centered goals, ministry. Uh, generally speaking, these days are scarce and few and far between. There might only be a handful of these days in the whole calendar year. So my question to you is, how many Mondays and how many my days have you got in your week? The Word of God challenges us in Ephesians 5 verse 15 to 16. So then, be very careful how you live. Don't live like foolish people, but like wise people, redeeming the time because the days are evil. I think we all agree with that. We need more my days so we can do what we want to do so we can be happy. I have also written another book about what takes away your peace of mind, what makes you happy. Quite a challenging question, but if you sit down and think about it and analyze every day of your life, you will see that fear and uncertainty normally steals our joy away. Whereas love, God's love and the love of the people who unconditionally love you, not only your parents and your family, but people who really care for you unconditionally, those are the people who actually give you the security that you need. But specifically, it's God's love that gives us that security. More of that in the book, What Takes Away Your Peace of Mind, which you can buy on Amazon. Just simple. Well, just simplify your life. Your life is very complicated. My life is complicated. It's a secret to effective living. And SIMP stands for Security, Identity, Management, which is the new word I coined management, not management, management, the art of managing yourself and your money. All my books are there to help you to live a victorious life, uh, a life free from unnecessary burdens brought about by debt and not knowing how to manage your money, money rules and things like that that we don't know about. The book Management, The Art of Managing Yourself and Your Money, is uh, full of practical advice. There are 24 chapters. It brings everything into perspective in your life, why you need to know how to manage your money to have more my days, less Mondays, not always working on money and thinking about money. You need to know the money rules. Money will rule over you until you are liberated by knowing the money rules and starting to rule over money. God has given us seven days, 70 years, to complete our creation, because we are creators with Him, to please Him, to do something with our lives. 70 years, seven days, 10, year, ten, years, for, ten years for each day of our life, Monday through Sunday. The question is, where are you in the week of your life? If you are 41 years old, you are on the Friday of your life already. For example, weekends are for fun and to rest. And you might be in the weekend of your life. Let us have more my days to do God's work and have a productive life.
God bless you. Thank you.